Hey, it's Deagle, guys. Um, how's it going? So, I haven't made a video in a long time, but I made some battle spot teams. Um, a lot of things have been changing with me lately. Um, it might be my last year playing, you know, as of 2017. I may play at local events and stuff just for fun with friends, but I really don't see myself uh, participating in VGC 2017 more and I'll tell you why because that was the first year uh, when they basically um, made it all about CP so the year before that um, it was totally different 2016 I remember my brother going to Worlds because he got top three in nationals that year and he didn't even play Pokemon that much and I was very proud of him and stuff but um, they just make it you know, at least for me where you have to go to all these tournaments you have to spend your own money and the focus seems to be more on counteracting um, all of the ways that this company limits you um, from being successful like there used to be last chance qualifiers um, there used to be a lot more stipends more awards they keep lowering and lowering it and I, I mean it's fine like I'm grateful for whatever they give us but as far as it being worth it to compete I mean I've spent a lot of money other people have spent a lot of money and it's just not worth it um, to any ways it's not really about the money I, I, I'd spend a couple grand per year if I was happy with it you know but I'm not and it's not because I haven't been successful I think it's been because I've been focusing on trying to be as successful as I was in 2010 too much and that's what actually um, I feel like has done me in for the most part because I don't care enough about um, the sport unless I'm actually winning um, and you know I just want to have fun but they make it so that you basically have to keep uh, doing well and uh, even when you eat well, uh, you can win a whole tournament, and the next week, you know, nobody cares. So, I mean, a lot of my old friends, they've, um, you know, quit long ago, or they play just every once in a while now. I mean, my brother, that way, other people are that way now. I think it's time for her to move on, for the most part. I mean, there are, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm going to retire or anything, because um, I, I'll probably play once, every once in a while. Um, I may compete in the future, you know, but until these rules change, which I don't think they're ever going to change, um, I can't. I mean, I just, it's just not fun to me. But anyways, I'm going to give you guys one last video and, uh, talk about Battle Spot Doubles, VGC. Um, I've really been humbled a lot lately. Uh, let me go to my VGC team really quick. Um... So, I mean, I've ended this tournament on Trainer Tower. Um, you have people like Lightcore, and he's using a team similar to this. Basically, uh, Double Ducks, Double Tapus, um, Hariyama Kartana. It's, it's pretty good. I feel it has some issues, though, with other weather, especially Drill and Lele teams, uh, possibly Ninetales, possibly Togedemaru, plus um, something that takes a water attack. Plus, maybe weather on top of it, like Gila. Uh, so, it's perfect, and I feel like the trains do conflict, and the Z moves kind of conflict. So, um, if I do go to Anaheim in August, I have a team like this. It is good, but I feel like it conflicts too much, at least for me. I like options. Options to me is what wins battles. Okay, so, I mean, I was using a team like this. He basically, um, it doesn't even matter now because I'm not, I'm not gonna probably even go, but you know, it has the imprisoned mug for other mugs that was the main issue for Snorlax, but people use things like Bug Bite or Rock Dead now, and um, the game's just been changing way too much. And I prefer a more centralized game also because it seems like they could just win just because they pick a different team. Uh, that happens to counter you. So, in my opinion, the teams out right now 
are either rain, counter rain, or something to do with um, gapped. And I'm not so sure about lax, lax, Snorlax anymore. Uh, so Gact is pretty much Garchomp, Arcanine, uh, Celestilia, and a Tapu. Uh, Coco is very, very good, but you don't necessarily need it. But I feel like you need either it to match another Coco, or you Coco, or you need a counter. So Marowak is an option. Togedemaru, I don't really recommend that much. Unless a lot of people are using rain, otherwise I, I typically recommend Marowak because it counters Arcanine. Okay, and I use Gastrodon. I try to use Gastron to counter rain. They just use Cartana, and, and then they can get a lucky 50/50 prediction guess. I mean, even when they don't, Cartana is basically just forced into defensive mode. So if you're trying to counter rain, like I said, use a Drip and Lele team. Nine Nails is okay, even though, you know, you have to take damage possibly coming in. But better than nothing. Um, so, so anyway, the, the top three teams, I think, are some sort of rain team. I think I would change... It's hard. I think Coco's is good. I think Arcton is good. I think Yum is good. I think I would change Bulu. Possibly, or maybe make um, Kratan not have a Z move because it conflicts with Goldeck. However, I do find there are a lot of times when I don't pick Goldeck because they have weather or something. So, so maybe it is good to keep the Z move Kartana. But Bulu is good. But I feel like from talking to Lycor, he said it's just for mostly for um, Trick Room and for boosting up Cartana, which is useful, changing terrain, but I feel like I'd personally change Bulu to something. I don't know what, but I feel like I'd change it. I mean, it is good, too, for countering um, Lele, but then it's like, you might as well just use, I don't know, a Lele counter Pokemon more than just Bulu. Okay, so, so one last thing, Flax is what I call it, is what the top three people in uh, Indy use. Basically, um, they would use, uh, let me think of what the, L, the F stands for, a flying Pokemon, like either Gyarados or Celestilia. Um, they basically use, um, I'll just tell you what they use, because I don't remember the order. They pretty much all use Arcanine, they all use Coco. Um, they all pretty much use Lax, um, so the, the three, and then they use the fourth Pokemon, which is a flying type like Celestilia or Gyarados, Gerda, and then they use Garchomp, uh, so it's pretty good all, all the way around. And then the sixth Pokemon is a support Pokemon, so some people use Porygon 2, um, you know, I'm talking about top three internets, North America. Um, Porygon 2... They use Mimikyu, they use, I'm trying to remember what the other guy used, Ninetales, Palchua. Okay, I don't really recommend Ninetales, and I'll tell you why. Because, not just conflicting weather, but it's really not worth it to get an Aurora, Aurora Veil up and just die. Like, if you can, I, I don't know, it just doesn't seem worth it to me. Um, possibly if you can Aurora Veil and not die, then maybe it's worth it, but if you just knock it out quick, they only have three Pokemon to work about, worry about, and then uh, it makes predictions a lot easier. That's why Shadow Tax is it. Okay, so that's pretty much VGC 2017. Um, I don't know as much about other, you know, as much as other people like Lycor and stuff, but, um, you know, I do have a pretty good grasp of what I would use to, um, to basically August, you know, Anaheim, right after Worlds. Um, I, Rain's great. It might win this year. I feel like either Rain or a counter Rain team uh, will win because I feel like there's no great counter to Rain. Pretty much beats them every time unless they get, uh, you know, better predictions. Um, most of the time, anyways. Okay, so, I mean... Lully, Blim, and stuff can, can kind of counter it hard. I mean, people may use Tim and Golduck, but if they use a Tim and Drifflin with some special defense, then that's a wrap. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go into Battle Spot Doubles now. Um, so here's my blog. 
this. Blar is great for battle spot doubles. I don't know everything, but here are opinions. I mean, people may disagree with me on stuff. I'm, I'm still, I was still trying to like, you know, fix this uh, tier because when I say top tier, people think, oh, they're like the top of the top. Like, no, I pretty much at that time only had two tiers. So I only had top tier and I had like other tiers, but pretty much just top tier and viable. And viable is a stretch because some of these Pokemon, I don't even feel like they're usable. They're just not. Um, especially like Electros is not class speakable. That's just one instance. Okay, so I don't I don't even really need to go into all the other instances. I mean, Pokemon archetypes, things that are weak to the fairy, even with less guard of forces, there are so many tapus now and people are just avoiding uh, you know, even picking Hydreigon on the team anymore because they realize it's not nearly as good as it used to be. Um so I mean there there are some Megas that have gotten worse. I feel like Venusaur uh, Mega is at worse. I don't even know if it's listed oh, it is listed on Okay, so it counters some teams, um, but unless it's super irksome, it's probably not going to even be worth it. It's just basically a sit there Pokemon. It's kind of a waste of a Mega, usually compared to other Megas that you could be using. And traditionally, some Pokemon that have been good, like Latios or maybe Latios, just aren't good anymore. I mean, just things that are weak to Fairy and other things. Not just that, but Dragon also got nerfed. Not just being weak to Fairy, but... I mean, the fact that there's more fairy now than there used to be, and uh, it really just made fairy weak Pokemon in general much worse. Things like Scrafty are still okay with a Solvest, but a good strong Moonblast is still one shit. So I wouldn't even recommend that guy. In my opinion, the top top of the top tier Pokemon on this list, I could narrow it down. These are the top 30. But the top ones are a Dash with Ghost DMZ is super good. One shots anything pretty much that's weak to my max special defense crest. Surprising no one else is using it, by the way. Arcanine's not top tier. Um, really, I gotta fix that. Um, there's not a lot of good intimidators out there. Um, Gyarados is actually surprisingly good with Ban, but maybe it's not quite as good as I'm thinking it is. Um, because basically, a lot of times you have to hit him with a non-stab move. It does super effect, but usually you get intimidated and stuff, and then you're locked into that move. Um, and then uh, Gothitelle is, I'd say, top tier. Aegislash, top tier. Shadow Tag's great. Aegislash, even with you having to um, King Shield pretty much every other turn, it's still great. Just it's typing, support moves, power, everything. And then... Um, Cresselia, I'd say, is top tier. Um, speed control is probably the most important thing in Battle Spot Delta, in my experience. If you win this speed control and you have good offense, you're probably going to win. Now, wide guard is a good way to counter these offensive teams, but some teams they use, they have the options of um, the option of using good single attacking moves like Mawal. Mawal and um, Gothitelle is really good with Poly too, because it basically has rain. To protect Ma Mawal and um, Mawal is really good in Trick Room and it has Intimidate support so it's good all around. Uh, if you don't feel like you need Shadow Attack then use Cresselia but Shadow Attack has a slow potential and it's one of the only type of teams that I tend to lose to the most. I need to figure out a way to beat it again. Um, so King has gone negative nerfed. Um, it's still good but it's not near, near as good as it used to be. Um, I'd say it's probably top tier. Brand's probably around top tier. The fact that it counters Charizard hard and really offensive. It's good with Fire or any MZ. Um, Gengar Mega, I don't think it's top tier anymore because it used to be great with like possibly Whimsicott and Encore Disable and stuff. I mean, it is maybe okay if you're using a, a Parish Trap team if you use it in town with Godzilla, but otherwise, nah. Um, just because Z also go through um, Encore. So the, those type of teams with Encore and Gengar's Disable just don't work like they used to. Lender's T is definitely top tier. It's, it has to be the best Intimidator and basically outclasses Garchomp in pretty much every way. 
Um, it, it counters a lot of things. Love Honey Mega, I'd say is pretty decent, but I'm not sure. I don't feel like it's top tier because it doesn't one-shot Landorus, and they're just not going to lead Kangaskhan probably versus it. Um, so, I mean, from a paper standpoint, it looks better than um, when you actually use it. And then Apollo's great, but I just don't like using teams that rely too much on weather in general, especially in Battle Spot Doubles. I mean, you have Charizard Y with Drought. You have you have Tyranitar. It's all over the place. Um, you, you just have counters to rain. So, I don't know. And then you have to use Hydro Pump to see after the Z move, which I don't know about that. Okay, Mawa Mega top tier. Metagross Mega had a huge boost. And by the way, with Battle Spot Doubles, I'm talking about it because it might actually be the format for VGC 2018 or something very similar. Okay, Metagross Mega. Um, it's hard to say exactly what tier it is. I don't like that it's intimidated after it may evolve, so sometimes I try to stall and not Mega Evolve unless I have to. And they made a change with Megas where you basically get the Mega Speed instantly. It didn't used to be that way. They made a lot of changes. Porygon 2, um, it's similar to Crest, kind of. It's like a Crest with different typing and less bulk, kind of, but um, it could be useful if everyone's trying to use, let's say, Aegis just to kill cellular or whatever it just depends on the meta but overall I, I normally pick crest with mango berry and it almost always activates and um, it also has the crest has the option of using both icy wind and Kaline, so it can control uh, speeds better in both aspects up and down kind of can do both so superior this Pokemon people say is bad but it's actually really good Trickroom is a super powerhouse. I used to use it with Electros, but Vika Volt um, outlasts it. So you could use the Z move with it. You could use Specs. I, I'm testing Specs with it. Specs Discharge plus Life Orb, Rhyperior. And I feel like Life Orb is still the best item with Rhyperior because you get two of your stat moves powered up and you wouldn't do it. You wouldn't get it if you got a Z move. So I prefer Life Orb on. Tyranitar, if you're going to use Life Orb, I mean, if you're going to use the Z move, use it on Beakable or something else instead. Okay, Salamence Mega, I'd say it's still pretty good. I don't know if it's completely top tier, but it definitely is up there. You just can't lead it that often with everyone using, like, Cresselia or something. Um, I mean, maybe, but then you might have to just switch out turn one. And then Snorlax. Um, Snorlax basically is okay on a trick room team for curses but it doesn't usually work out that great it's hard to say what tier snorlax is in um i don't know if it's in top tier but it does have a lot of potential it i'd say it it might be better in vgc but vgc is changing so more snorlax counters so i'm not sure so suicune by the way i was one of the people that kind of pioneered snorlax in and uh Battle Spot Doubles. For some reason, nobody tried it, even though it was great in GC. Okay, Suicune, great to Winder. Um, not a lot of offense, but it does have good support with like Snarl and stuff. Um, back in the day, I used to say Snarl was bad because, but that was the meta game. So like, you could just Ice Beam kill Thunderous or Landorus faster than Snarl could. Like it wasn't even if they had Thunderous, it wouldn't make sense to kind of just Snarl it. When you could just ice beam it typically because back then they weren't really that bulky and stuff. The game has changed where Thunderous isn't even good anymore. People say Thunderous T is really good. I don't know about that. Maybe. I'll have to test it out with maybe the Focus Blast, but it still seems kind of weird. Um, I don't. I personally don't think it's top tier or, or that great, but who knows. It does count stuff. Tapu Fini. I feel like my team needs Tapu Fini or Tapu Coco because... The status teams, like, um, basically among us or whatever, they get shut down so easily by that. And Sleep Powder says, like, why not just slap one of these two Pokemon on your team? They're pretty good. Especially Tapu Fini. Tapu Coco is a little bit disappointing in uh, Battle Spot Doubles. It's just weaker and, I don't know, it's just, it doesn't do as well as it does in VGC. I mean, uh, I'm trying to think of exactly why I think, because it doesn't super affect as much and there's more 
maybe powerful threats to it. Um, more powerful Pokemon instead of Tapu Koko that you can use, even though it is kind of powerful. Uh, Tapu Lele is great because um, it gave Metagross Mega a huge boost um, that it never had before. And you may not even need um, sub on Metagross because even though it is weak to Sucker Punch, if you have Psychic Gain, you don't necessarily need it. You used to need, kind of need Bullet Punch for the fourth move, but now you could even run Ice Punch, even though, like, I don't know, it went in one shot. Um, I mean, if it was Mega, I think it would one shot, like T, but anyways, there's more options right now. Um, definitely better. Tapu Lele's great for carrying the cow, especially from King Kong. Um, Tapu Bulu doesn't seem that good, but possibly for uh, Landorus T or countering another Tapu, so I could kind of see it because it, it does counter all the other Tapus. Um, Ranatar is pretty good. Tiger Ran, Mega, I don't know if it's really top tier. Um, neither is Bulu and some of these other Pokemon. Rodham W is okay. It, is, it does counter a lot of things. I'm just worried about Hydro Pump, Accuracy, and a couple other things. But Tyranitar, um, it is, I'd say, top tier because it has great weather and offensive options. Tyranitar Mega, I don't think I would waste a Mega slot on it when you could just use, like, Life or Tyranitar instead unless you feel like you really need Sash. But then it's like you can't use Sash on Tyranitar Mega either. Um, the, the main point of Tyranitar Mega is maybe the higher stats a little bit. And, um, you know, being able to set up Sandstorm twice, but usually that doesn't matter. Um, uh, Pickle Sword and stuff has, has done well in the past, though. So, um, I think with Excadrill, but I, I'm not too keen on that Excadrill, uh, strategy. I don't think Excadrill is that good. It used to be way better. Okay, and then Vika Volt's pretty good on the Trick Room team. People really underestimate it compared to right for great coverage. Um, if it's not on Trick Room team, probably not good. Volcarona, I feel like this Pokemon's pretty overrated and no one even uses it right. Like, it used to be great with him on top, uh, with like Fake Out, Quiver Dance, Helping Hand, um, and Heat Wave, and it would kill pretty much everything, but all these Fake Out strategies plus spread moves don't really work like they used to. And then you have to use something like Over Tier, like, uh, where is Celestelia? Right here. Um, I'd say it's kind of medium tier not really lower than that. I kind of have three tiers. Um, I need to replace this suspect for top tier as either medium tier or just change medium tier to suspect for top tier. Um, so I'll get to that later. I feel like Volcrana actually needs Dark Guard support more than it does need Rage Powder support. People say, oh, Among Us is good. I don't think so. All it has is Spore. And uh, it used to be good, but with the Tapus, I think that changed it too much. I mean, people used to use Safeguard, but then they, they would have to move, but now it's more passive than that. They can counter easier with the terrain. Too complicated, I'd say forget it. Volcrana needs to counter more than anything anyways, so I think good when guard support is good with it, but fortunately most of the Pokemon that get it are fighting types, and the other Pokemon that get it aren't that high tier. Uh, Celestilia is okay. Uh, Swampert's okay. There's really not. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel like Krana is that good. I feel like you could use a better fire type like Charizard. Y is great with Landers T or Heat Ran. You could use instead. Um, medium tier. You could use Obama Snow. Um, but I don't think it's that good. Basically, just to counter Rain or Vanellix. I feel like Tyranitar is better. Um, I mean, they don't, these Pokemon don't seem to do that much more than just counter rain. Okay, and then, um, there, there are things, I guess, Cavalier that possibly would be better on the Trick Room team, but it's, it's just not that good in general to be used. Even on a Trick Room team, I don't think it's that good. You have to super effect stuff and it gets intimidating. Um, pretty good. I think it's better than for a most of just the different stabs it can have and stuff. Um, more bulky. So, Rianclas, I don't think it's that good. I, I don't have time to go over all these, but I'll just give you a glance. So, um, there's not a lot of these good powerhouses in Trick Room. Uh, things like Caramap aren't that good. 
Um, I think he's a lot of him in any tier is just not good unless intimidate. Like they use it in such a way where they don't care about intimidate uh, versus melodic. Like they should care, um, but otherwise I, I wouldn't bring melodic. It was on my t one of my teams a couple years ago in a similar format, but I don't think it's good now. You have some Pokemon that are similar to other Pokemon like Drifblin, like Halusha, and it's just not that good. It's just dies easy it's just it's hard to replicate some of these strategies okay and things that have been okay in the past are all times around the same tier or worse like Galay and Mega um, they just is the Pokemon that you want to counter um, with that Pokemon if you if you have it on your team they just won't pick it even if that's their only Mega I mean they just won't pick it because if they're smart it's better to not use a Mega and not be weak to something or they'll just use it in the back than uh, basically to pick it and get countered. So give me any feedback about this. I still will play this game every once in a while. Um, you know, I'm not done with this whole game yet. Um, you know, there are some counters. Just go to DeagleBeagleDog.com. Um, I think I've explored I will be, by the way, uploading um, my brother's nationals uh, last year uh, where he got top three. Um, I feel like he could have won the whole nationals, but he just didn't do everything that I kind of wanted him to prepare for the night before, and I feel like he kind of made too many impulsive decisions, and he should have won that battle if he just made like one or two less mistakes he would have won them i think all of those battles um but you can take I, I think i'll upload one video of him uh you know just original video none of my commentary and then i'll upload either within that video my commentary at the end or at the beginning or a separate video where instead of the music you just hear me <laughs> comment commenting throughout the whole thing so um, let me go into some of these teams really quick and then I'll wrap this up so, um, there's rain teams that you can use like rain trapping teams I tried to test all sorts of teams this team trick room team with powerful offense is good um, you know I basically have Aegis Lunch to counter other trick room to one shot on them, reverse mine and then just go to work on them offensively uh, that age slash die if it needs to so that that may be actually a good part of itself where I don't need to waste a turn switching it just dies you know after it attacks um, especially if they're slower or the next turn um, you know throughout testing I haven't always tested the Pokemon on the perfect team to know whether it's great or not but just enough battles that you need learning from my mistakes I pretty much have a good grasp of what tier I feel like Pokemon are in uh, a lot of people that disagree with me have never really tried out anything I've said is good and they haven't even tried to debate with me either why they think it's that way they just think it's that way because I don't know maybe maybe they used it one time like or a couple times back in history and they just have these assumptions okay so um, basically, if it doesn't make sense, it's not true. It doesn't matter how successful someone is with something. It matters how um, good it is backed up by arguments. Okay, so, um, I mean, if you just saw a whole bunch of random high-tier Pokemon on, on a team, you'll probably do fine. I think if you use basically Chalk minus Omnigus, a lot of people have been using Chalk plus Feeny, but I think Feeny is dumb when he uses it with that with the um, Among Us team. Feeny's not dumb to use, but with the Among Us team it is. I'd say Among Us is bad anyways, just take it out. I'd say Chalk minus Among Us with Feeny instead is good. And then just one other Pokemon to start off. It's a, a pretty good place to start. I'm trying to think if I have any team that's similar to that. Um, you know, kind of like this maybe, except, yeah, this team is pretty good uh, to start off with. You know, Tyranitar, um, you know, either regular Mega with um, ch Chalk minus Among Us plus Fee or something like that. It's okay or something similar. 
there's other teams you can use. A lot of people are using um, Lely Metagross teams. I feel like Aegis and other things kind of counters that a little bit too hard. So I personally would use different teams. And I feel like I've used uh, re relied way too much on speed control. I need to have a team where I have some fast Pokemon, some slow Pokemon. So if something hits the fan, I, I can still outspeed stuff, right? But um, I think speed control teams can work for certain teams, but other teams you shouldn't even try it. Um, so let's see. And then if it is best of three, you can always change stuff. So okay, let me basically uh, wrap this up. Uh, so I'm gonna focus more on um, this school board we have coming up. Um, I've kind of realized that. I want to do something that's more fulfilling with my life rather than just play, you know, kind of video games. Um, I want to help out society more, and that's also another reason why I feel like I'm not going to play Pokemon as much anymore. Um, I will every once in a while, uh, but I think I'm moving on to bigger, greater things. I think maybe it's a good thing. Um, so basically i'm not gonna make very many videos anymore if i do it'll probably be probably be every once in a while um and it, it might even have nothing to do with pokemon it might be just who knows prank videos or whatever so we'll have to see um so I hope everyone enjoyed watching this and that's it so see see you later